Bonjour and welcome to the second of Diablesse Rum's High Octane Broadcast. My name's Cleo um, and this is my rum. I'm an independent based in Manchester and I've been going just over a year. Um, I introduced you in the last one to this beaut. This is the Clementine Spice Rum, but I neglected to tell you some crucial facts. So, first fact is this is made from a single origin Demerara rum from Guyana, which is beautiful. I've heard of Demerara sugar. This is the molasses are made as a by, molasses are a byproduct of making Demerara sugar. So it's a naturally sweet rum and it's lush. Okay, everything in it as well is 100% natural. So it's actually good for you. Um, it's amazing. So um, as I said before, it's got clementine, clove, pimento, uh, some star anise, cinnamon, vanilla pod, ginger, uh, which is brilliant. Um, and it tastes absolutely amazing on its own or in mixers because it's not too sweet. And the third fact that I didn't tell you, which is ridiculous, is that it's won um, a gold medal at the International Rum Cachaca Masters by the Spirits Business. Um, which I can't quite believe, it was a blind tasting, so I didn't even get to bribe them or anything, it was amazing, so they did it all on their own, and it won a gold medal, so it really, really is good. Um, anyway, so, staying in is obviously now the new going out, and because of that, if you are going out of your tiny mind from going absolutely nowhere, like me, uh, by the way, I didn't mean you've got tiny minds, you've got massive minds, but you know what I mean. Anyway, if you're going out of your mind, staying in, what better way to fill that time than to drink this beautiful stuff? So, what I've done today is a stir as a serve for you. I'm going to keep this really simple at the moment because we can't get hold of much stuff. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do um, a lovely drink with uh, Clementine Spice Rum Diabolus. Oh, I need to tell you who she is. That's amazing. So, this is a, a female made rum because I am one, and I've made it for all you gorgeous ladies out there. Uh, because a lot of rum is quite male, I find. You know, it's sea captains or gods of war and stuff like that. Anyway, so this is uh, for that, but also cool blokes as well. She is, uh, have you heard of El Diablo, the devil? Uh, she is Diablesse and she comes from Caribbean folklore. She's amazing. And I thought, what am I going to call this beautiful concoction of mine? And I stumbled across her, which is brilliant. So basically, she was a demon because she had dealings with the devil. And she used to roam the Caribbean under... Caribbean, you know what I mean, Caribbean, under a wide brim hat here, which is what that symbolises, and she hid behind the fan. And uh, she had one cloven hoof, but she kept that in the grass on the side of the road so no one could see it. But anyway, what she used to do is lure poor, unsuspecting men into the forest, seduce them, and they'd never, ever be seen again. And I thought, fantastic, get on my ball then. Amazing. So anyway, swiftly on. So uh, I have queued up to get ice, which is in very short supply ice and I'm putting it in with a spoon I have actually washed my hands so don't worry so I'm going to stick this in there okay and as I do it I'm going to build raspberries in there okay oh my god so I'll put the glass there we can see it there we are and I'm going to keep putting ice in there and I'm building the raspberries in the glass so that they're all the way through the drink and this is this is lush technical term there we go, put some more raspberries in there. Normally, I would do this with a slice of pink grapefruit, but if you can find that, then you're a better woman than I am. Anyway, so this basic thing, I'm going to do, it's a one to four mixture. So one part rum, four parts. This amazing stuff, this is Fever Tree Aromatic Tonic Water, and it's lush. Rum and tonic? Yes, you did hear correct. It's amazing. It's brilliant. So I'm going to stick it in like this. Oh, God, it's not open. Get the open one. I'm trying to be professional. So one part. Again, I'm not measuring it. It's a pandemic. There we go. Let's do one. Say one. Is that one? I don't know. And then four parts tonic. Again, if you're like me, right, just stick that there so we know what we're on about. If you're like me, you'll, you might want it a bit stronger than that. But anyway, I'm going to glug it in. That is outrageous. Look at that. It looks beaut. And it tastes beaut too. So I'm going to have a little taste now. Just check it. That's amazing. Honestly, it's amazing. If you like um, 
fruity gins and tonics you will love that if you like an aperol spritz you will love that um it's quite a different thing to do with rum this is really nicely well balanced tonic so it's not too sweet and it's just really really long and refreshing um raspberries we can just about still get them um and there you go um i don't know what else to tell you really um that's it uh, i know it's quite basic i'm keeping everything quite basic at the moment because of the times we are in i did this Hashtag rum is the new gin. Very, very um, professional, I think you'll imagine. Okay, and then that's it really. Um, oh yeah, right, so if you want to support me, please do. Um, this is available with the golden one. Hurrah. On Amazon. Um, oh yeah, 31 Dover Crafty Connoisseur. Master of Melt, uh, Master of Melt, Master of Malt are excellent. Um, as are the whiskey exchange so you can get them they'll come to your door you don't have to talk to them you don't have to get any virus off them it'd be amazing and you can drink this in your garden um which is real because of course we've got all stay inside and the bloody sun's come out anyway on that note um thank you very much um please if you like this video please will you share it share it with people tell people about it um and uh, stay safe all right, later, see you soon. Bye.